Guys, it looks like with One UI 7, Samsung phones are set to actually lose a pretty big DeX feature that you're probably not using and a lot of people probably don't even know is a thing. Did you know that you can take your Samsung phone and plug it into your computer and then run DeX on your PC inside Windows? And that is exactly what you are seeing here. With the same mouse and keyboard that I'm going to use on my computer, I can use here inside Samsung DeX. And this is one of those features that it works, you know, fairly well. Definitely could have some things to polish up. But you have to sit there and kind of wonder, like, what is the use case for this? If I'm already using my computer, Surely just using Windows is going to be the better way to go. But of course, you do have direct access to your Android apps and files, and that's something. If you're a dual monitor user, you can basically have two different operating systems running right in front of me. Dex is here, Windows is here, and that is a fairly novel experience. But unfortunately, if we jump over to the Samsung.com, Samsung Dex page for the UK, this may have rolled out to other regions, Possibly, possibly, and that's some very small text there, but I'll read it to you. The DEX for PC on Windows OS will end support from One UI 7 version. So with One UI 7, support for this application, support for doing this, is apparently going to be going away. Now, the reason for that is probably one, because it just doesn't make a ton of sense, and I would bet not a lot of people are using this sort of thing, but two they have something else that I'm quite certain they would rather you be using. And that other thing probably just makes more sense anyways. Let me show you what that is. So what we're looking at right now is PhoneLink, and a lot of you guys probably saw this coming from a mile away, but this application is actually pre-installed on your Samsung device. This is my Z Fold 6. Like I said, it's pre-installed. Samsung and Microsoft have worked together fairly tightly for this deeper integration. Any phone can run the PhoneLink app, but not every phone has the same functionality that Samsung phones are going to get. So here, if I had any text messages on my Z Fold 6, you would see them here. So you can send and receive text messages. Now there's one problem with this that I'm gonna kind of tie into some other things here in just a minute. You can send and receive phone calls if your computer has Bluetooth. One really, really cool thing is the ability to stream applications. So I'm going to click on the Play Store, and what's going to happen is I'm going to get in this floating window the Google Play Store. Now what's happening on my Z Fold 6, as this is loading very, very slowly, is you're basically getting this screen here that says that Link to Windows is doing something. Now what's cool is I can swipe up on that and I can just go on using my phone in a normal way while it is streaming the Play Store to my computer. And I can use my mouse to interact with this. I can scroll around. I can click on an application. I can do whatever I would normally do on my phone, but my phone is not being occupied. Now, unfortunately, if I lock my phone, it's going to tell you, hey, you got to unlock your device. So minimum, your phone has to be unlocked for this to work. And that is definitely a little bit annoying. But you can also, let's go a step further. Let's just open up the phone screen. And that's going to just be your home screen, your launcher. And now I can just directly control my screen all wirelessly. Again, this is very, very cool. In most ways, I think that this just makes more logical sense than having another operating system essentially run another desktop UI on your desktop UI, right? So just continue using Windows and then have a floating window of whatever app it is you want to be accessing. You can send your text message, you can see photos, you can file transfer very easily with things like that. That all makes much more sense to me. But my problem is that phone link just has never reached the level of polish that I think that it should. If Microsoft wants to take this seriously and Samsung wants to take it so seriously that they get rid of the alternative option, we have to fix some of the problems in PhoneLink. And the biggest one for me is that in this messaging application, maybe this is now the second biggest one, for a long time this was the biggest one, it doesn't work with RCS. It only sends SMS and MMS. So if you're going to text from your computer, you lose those RCS features, and that is super duper annoying. However, there's another problem that has recently cropped up, and it really, really bothers me. So I'm gonna show you this, and a lot of this is probably just gonna have to be blurred out because my personal 
email address is going to be visible. But what you can see is my name here and then a bunch of devices. Now, several of these devices, there's two pixel folds here. I don't even have the first pixel fold anymore. This might actually be two pixel folds that I don't have. In the past, let me move my camera over here to the other side. In the past, there were like, there's like a three dot menu you could click and you could remove that device but you can't, you cannot remove this device, any of these devices anymore in the phone link app. They've updated it and they have, I think unintentionally, broken it. There's actually a thread ongoing in the feedback hub for Windows where people are talking about how you can't remove it. A Microsoft team member responded giving the old instructions and then everybody is responding saying that's not a thing anymore. You remove that. Stop telling us how to do it the old way. The three dots are not there. These phones are stuck. This is just a level of, you know, maybe a lack of polish that is really disconcerting. There actually is another UI in Windows settings themselves where you should be able to do something like this as well. But again, you can see the phones, I can see the devices, I can add them, but I can't remove them. And I know what you guys are thinking. This is absolutely shocking. Microsoft with a lackluster sort of lazy approach to Android integration. I can't imagine this sort of thing happening, but lo and behold, here it is. And this time it is Samsung that is at least somewhat reliant upon them getting it right. Phone Link has so much potential, right? You've if you're using Windows, there's a decent chance you're probably using an Android phone. If you're using an iPhone, you probably have a Mac device, you probably have a MacBook or something like that. So for us Windows users, we would love to see that sort of really tight integration and it coming from Microsoft would be the place that makes the most sense, right? But it just isn't fully there yet. Where is RCS support? Not only have they not delivered RCS, they're now breaking <laughs> their basic functionality. I don't understand that. I don't get what's going on there, guys. You have to kind of double down and make this stuff work a bit better, especially, like I said, if we're going to be losing these sorts of other potential options because you can make an argument that doing this with DEX is a more fully fledged option because you know everything that phone link can do. And then so when I text through this, it's going to be through RCS. So it has advantages in that regard. So we're kind of getting, in some ways, it makes more sense, but in other ways, a downgraded experience. But guys, I would love to know what you guys think. Are you using phone link? Are you doing something else personally? I actually end up not really using phone link because the primary thing I want to do is send and receive files from my phone to my computer. And there are better ways to do that, whether it's quick share or it's windows, uh, you know, their, their network file sharing, which is what I normally use. And if I want a text message, I probably just use the Google messages web app because that does work with RCS. So I just end up not using phone link. If they fix these things, maybe I would. But like I said, I do want to hear what you guys think in those comments down below. Which option are you going with? Are you using sort of a smattering of different options like me? Sound off in those comments. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.